Welcome to the channel guys, my name's Danny Malcolm. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing three tips to help you hit powerful and longer drives. Now before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing by clicking the button below. Lots more free content to come to help you improve your game. All right, so let's get into it. We all wanna hit our drivers further. Hopefully, we all want to hit our drivers further because there's a huge element that's going to help us create lower scores by improving that strokes gained element in your driving. So, what we're going to do, three, three keys, three tips, three tips. Number one, in assuming you've got a good ball position, i.e. the ball being, if you used to take your setup ball in the center, take a tiny step to the left, big step to the right, that'd put your ball in a reasonable position for driver, which would be just inside your lead heel, generally is good for most players. Now, assuming that's good and the T is set up to a good height for you, key number one, or tip number one, is to have a good sort of tilt behind the ball. To do this, I would recommend just getting your trail hand, sliding it down your thigh, and just until such point where you get a little bit further behind the ball, whereby now if there's a line drawn from your lead shoulder to the ball, it'll be pretty much vertical, straight up from the ball to the edge of your lead shoulder. What you don't wanna see, and I see quite a lot, is players being more in this position with driver, the ball's a little bit further back, sometimes even towards the middle of their stance, and the shoulders too much this way. That makes it hard for us to get behind the ball and more difficult or more challenging to then hit up on the golf ball, which is the surest way to longer drives. So, ball position's good. We've got a little bit of a tilt this way by sliding our hand down our thigh. And that should also get your weight roughly, roughly about 60% on your trail side, 40% on your lead side. So you're gonna be more in this kind of setup position here. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow us to get our big turn. It's gonna allow us to get the weight on this side to then be able to push off and through into impact, still hit up on the ball. If you used sort of more this way in setup, weight more 50-50 and turning. And now if you come down from here, you're gonna hit way more down on the ball or you're gonna to have to react and the weight starts to move in the wrong direction. So you start to get this less efficiency in terms of generating power. So very important that we start up from a solid, solid setup position with the driver to give ourselves the best chance. Okay, so moving on to tip number two, creating a nice powerful turn, a nice loading up in the backswing. So a nice little tip I'd like you guys to try is just grabbing an alignment rod or another golf club is absolutely fine. And from your setup position there, we're just gonna place that just inside your trail heel. From your normal setup position, I'd love you to just place your driver shaft along your shoulders here. And now the goal is simply to from that good setup position that we've got is to make a nice turn whereby my club is now directly over that shaft or stick on the ground and that's going to ensure a nice big turn it's going to ensure we're loading up into this trail side to be able to again be able to push off and create a lot of speed moving well through the ball so what a lot of players do is from a even from a good setup position they might from there turn too much this way and again, now we're a bit too far on top of it or we might have to move backwards so our weight's not moving in the direction we want it to go. So in the backswing, we want it to move into our trail, trail side and then in the downswing, it starts to move through into our lead side. What we don't want is lead side, trail side. That's a very inefficient way to hit the golf ball. So that's a good little tip for you there, guys. So from your setup position, ensuring you... So we're not moving off the ball any crazy amounts. We've got a little bit of a little bit of forward bend as we turn this way, but we're not going crazily this way, and we're not going too much this way. So just from that setup position, really, we're just turning, bang, there, bang, and now we're on that trail side. So that's tip number two, give that a go. And number three, number three is getting a bit more of a pressure shift going this way. So what I mean by that, from your setup position here, a lot of players will tend to just turn basically straight this way there, and if there's a line drawn from my hip all the way up here, a lot of players will just turn and there'll be a big gap between the two. So what happens there is oftentimes the weight, again, can be too much on the lead side and we have a hit down on it from there or we fall back excessively. And again, that's very inefficient. So the flip side to that is some players that do too much, so they do more of a sway and no turn and that's too much, that's too much this way. So what I would encourage is just a nice little shift. You see the, some of the best players in the world, Rory's the, the one that does this as well. That initial move is just a little bit of a shift this way 
with the hip just to get the weight moving in the right direction and then it's a turn so it's almost like a little bump this way and then a turn and that's going to get them really loaded up beautifully in their backswing nice powerful position weights into the back of my lead my trail heel and from there we can really push off and create a lot of speed a lot of efficiency through the strike so i'm going to try and piece those three together and we'll just hit one down here on the, on the beautiful 12th hole here at the western australian golf club and so number one as we've spoken about there is a little bit more of a tilt to your trail side weight more on this side number two we're going to make a nice big turn imagine we've got a stick there and then number three a nice little shift and turn and that should help us generate a lot of speed so here we go let's give it a ride down here caught that one pretty solid just down the right side Whew, pretty powerful uh, powerful move left me out of breath a bit that one but um so there's a three three tips there guys just help you hit some more powerful longer drives give those a go hope it helps any questions please comment below and uh, thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you on the next video